reason I'm here. <laughs> I'm doing God's work for you guys. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> this convention is brought to you by TurboTax. Who knew? Probably should have mentioned that up front. If we don't have endorsement deals by the end of this. These are all plants. Yeah. Nobody wanted to ask these questions. <laughs> Uh, my question is actually for Adam, though. What's up? It's Who? about my third favorite show, Veronica Mars. Yes! Oh. Uh, Woo! They just released the first date. And I June saw 28th. that. Yes, and they released a little teaser, too. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay, but I'm very curious what he, Max's role is going to be coming back, because when we left him, I believe he had quit school. Yes. Because he thought he was super cool and Stuff. Yes. Slightly and illegal stuff. Yes, so there's some, well, not illegal technically, but uh, he, uh, I think I can talk about this because I think they put it in some trade or something, in some article. Um, Max now owns a pot dispensary uh, <laughs> in California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so there's some stuff going on in the city of Neptune, and uh, I am sort of tangentially involved, and um, and that's pretty. I think that's all I can say. Yeah, but that. But I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I gotta get a picture of this thumb. Oh man. It's yeah. good. Anybody else want a picture of the thumb? Anybody else? I'm holding the mic, but that was nice. There we go. Alright, we're just making art over here, guys. Real art. Making fucking art. Um, any questions over here? What's up? Hi, so I want to start off with saying I love all three of you very much. Um, we love you back. <laughs> Jeffrey, I've been a huge fan of you since you've been on General Hospital. Thanks. And um, my question is for all three of you. I was wondering what has been your favorite part of being on Supernatural? Honestly, for me, it's coming to these things. I, I loved working on the show, but I think I've spent more time now at these conventions than I did actually working on the show. Infinitely. And, and so, honestly, being able to um, get FaceTime with all of you guys, you know, it's awesome to interact on Instagram and on Twitter and things like that. But for whatever reason, just that um, face to face uh, interaction, that kind of contact, doesn't, it, it just can't be beat, you know what I mean? And so, being able to connect with you guys on that level, to me, has been the best part of, of being on the show. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! I would say that it's really, it's a certainly unique experience. Like you, For sure. Usually, you, especially as a character actor, you, you do, and before Twitter especially, but like, you would you do a job, and then you move on. And maybe your friends uh, call you and say, hey, Saw you on TV. Good job. Uh, but, but you never, you usually never hear about it again. No yeah. idea. And so I, I such a, I remember getting called for the first convention, seventy-two years ago, uh, <laughs> that where they, I, I age very well. He's eighty-six, guys. True. Eighty-six. It's true. It's true. It's true. I stay young. I like to do crossword puzzles, keep the mind active. Uh, so, uh, and I just remember they're like, oh, th there's going to be like a couple thousand people who want to get together and, and talk about the show. And I'm like, uh, I think there's a mistake. Uh, because I think at that time I've done one episode. Uh, now I've done two. Uh, and I'm like, this is same this, this can't possibly be uh, real. And it's, uh, and it's, at first, I remember it's just, it was very surreal, and now it's just, I don't know, it's amazing. It's a blast, and all the relationships are great, but, uh, yeah, this is delightful. And also, like, ha hanging out with, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but hanging out with all of you guys, but also meeting all these actors, um, and, and becoming friends with them, it, it's been, you know, we, we stay friends, and, and all of a sudden we have, like, a little, um, supportive community, um, of pe you know, of people who have been on Supernatural at different times, and just, a really cool uh, uh, way to connect with people. By the way, I love seeing stuff like that, though, because that's with this group of actors, too, where, like, you play the thing from Weeds, and I'm like, I, I love that guy from Weeds. Oh, that was you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all the time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of us. I'd say Asmodeus is one of those characters that, as an actor, I pray for, and just try and call in with all my might. It's, it's, 
just the dialogue that they gave this guy, just the situations that being able to make somebody explode by going like that. <laughs> That's the dream. That's the dream. <laughs> just I'd say everything about everything about the character was my favorite part. I loved it. Yeah. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank love you. you back. What's up, Fangman? Hey guys. Yes. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, so speaking of that's Ghostbusters, just, that's just this Friday outfit. Don't <laughs> don't draw attention to it. Right. Uh, so that is great. Excuse me. It's one nice. second. That, that reminds me of the time when I came to one of the first of the conventions. Somebody comes up to the mic, and I was like, "Oh, it's Harry Potter. <laughs> it's Castiel." <laughs> Do <you know> me. <laughs> Sorry. No. Harry, Harry Potter stretch coat. Yeah. Classic. Harry Potter. <laughs> So, out of the three of you on stage, Adam, I know you were the only one who was actually in the Hollywood parody, but uh, Jeffrey and Gabe, I just personally want to know that if you guys were in the parody, what would you guys have wanted to be, or what you wanted your role to be, because, you know, your absence was missed. Thank you. Agreed. I agree. Thank you. Agree. Thank you. Agree. I mean, I feel like just playing Jared is the part that just makes the most sense for me, I feel. Um, you can kind of do like a double take and just like, wait, did they, is Jared just playing himself? And then they'd be like, no, actually. The resemblance is uncanny. I know. Yeah. I know. And at this just I'm sitting down. I would have liked to have played Andy, if possible. <laughs> I think I could have. I think I could have nailed that role. That's the dream. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to have seen? Quite frankly, Talk to me. I'll be honest with you. I would have preferred seeing you guys all with um, that one portion where you all were dancing with <laughs> the <laughs> Apollo with everyone cramped up in the car. Yeah, well, yeah. I would have loved to see that, and then more specifically see the gags of that. Like, because <laughs> I would imagine being really heated up in that car with like. So yeah. The you in there. Oh, it would be hot. It it was really hot in that car, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. Also, you know, I would have. I was kind of gunning for uh, playing the the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> that, I, I just feel like no one yeah. got to like be the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and yeah. that, that to me is the most important character of Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. It really ties the whole thing together. Uh, just uh, for the record, no one wants to see me dance. That is, is, have you seen The Jerk? That's a topical reference. I have, I, the, the, um, the lack of rhythm that, uh, that I can display, mwah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, my question is, if Thanos' snap affected our universe... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me as Thanos. Oh, God. Jerk, jerk Thanos? Yeah, jerk, old jerk Thanos. There's the spinoff. <laughs> It writes itself. Which one of you three would be most likely to turn into dust? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the role of a three-sided die, isn't it? It's not based on anything. I think... Uh, kind of already ashes at this point. <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah. we're all dust, probably. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, I close my eyes. Only for a moment. <laughs> Then the moment's gone. <laughs> Slips away. <laughs> All we do. Yep. <laughs> That's the real answer. <laughs> Next. Hey. Hi. So you guys are obviously super fun and super funny. True. So. True. Both. And <laughs> hey, let's have a round of applause for her. Huh? Yeah. Brought to you by Turbo. Thank you. Great question, also. <laughs> yep. Alright. Uh, follow up question. You all seem really handsome. <laughs> oh, Two part follow up to the follow up is you're gorgeous and I like your smile. I mean, Hi. you're not wrong. <laughs> but because of that, I was just kind of wondering if you had any crazy or weird stories of on set experiences, either on Supernatural or other productions, that you'd be willing to share with us. Um, you know, when there's like such a wide ranging of my brain so that just shuts <laughs> down. He's got some good stuff. Well, the, uh, one, toward the end when I was holding uh, Castiel and Sam, and I was doing this, and they're like, all oh, right, they can't breathe. Wait, what are they like? like <laughs> right, and you were like, what? Right. And then they were both like, 
Or because I was still just going like this. Right. And both of them at the same time. Went, oh. Wait, so which one was cast in? I was cast like, Okay, great. So, I said, Wait, what? Well, you went? I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But then Sam, he was more, he was more like, oh yeah. Well, was so I asked him, what, what are they, how are they doing this? Like, how, because they've never, you know. And we had just been talking about really hot peppers. What? And eating hot peppers. Yes. And so every time they do that, they just every time I did that, they just said that they were acting, remembering the time that they ate a really hot pepper. <laughs> It's like the uh, Joey Tribbiani School of Acting, yes. where... <laughs> Just try and figure out the square root of 168. <laughs> when you're... When you just find out your brother died, like... Oh, yeah. That's how I learned to act. Because when my brother dies, I'm always like... <laughs> <laughs> I always break out my calculator when someone dies. <laughs> How about you guys? Any wacky fun experiences on set? Some wacky funness? I, I mean, I've told this story a million times, so I feel like... Uh, have you guys heard the, the gag reel story already? Yes? Okay, there's She's one. Like, Done! All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll say... <laughs> Last time, everybody! <laughs> Um, okay, so we, there was a scene where, uh, uh, Sam and Dean are talking about, like, getting rid of my golem on, on their own, and I overhear them, and I come through, and I'm like, what do you mean? You're gonna get rid of, like, don't you think you gotta go through me if you're gonna get rid of my, you know, it's like a whole standoff thing. Yeah. And, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm standing off to, to Dean, and so, like this, right? <laughs> And I'm talking to him, and he's like, "Listen, we're gonna get rid of your gold." And hey, buddy, listen, uh, listen, yeah, little guy. You're adorable, uh, but we gotta deal with this. We gotta, we gotta get rid of it. All right, you stay there. No, uh, <laughs> she snapped on Aaron. No. Um, so during, you know, they do coverage of scenes. Sometimes they put the camera on. One person, sometimes the camera's turned on you. When the camera was turned on me, uh, I walked to my mark, and I was being real serious, and then Jared sort of like peeked up behind Jensen, <laughs> holding a, a piece of paper with a drawing on it of uh, something phallic. <laughs> like something phallic on a hot piece dog? of paper. A yeah, like a hot dog. Like a hot dog? Or or a like hot dog. a hot dog. Oh. Like a microphone. Like a microphone. Like a microphone. And uh, was making obscene gestures. Oral gestures? No, just obscene. Okay, okay. With what? Uh, could, you, could you simulate it? No. 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 And Is it legal to. I don't think so. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And. Additionally? Is it. Uh, <laughs> Sense. <laughs> it might somewhere. Sure, sure. Uh, I got a prescription. And of course, like, I started dying laughing and then could could not finish that scene. And we, I think we probably did like 13 takes of that because <laughs> once it starts, it's very difficult to stop. They and don't take it as seriously as I thought they would. They have been doing it for a very long time. And I think after how many, for 15 years now? They have figured out ways to make it fun. They were doing that in season two. <laughs> I had a very emotional scene, and I forget which gentleman decided, you know what Gabe needs right before the camera rolls? He needs to see a picture of the dump that he just took. <laughs> and let me just show it to him real quick, and action. The dump that who just took? Wouldn't one of them, I forget which one. The world needs to know, right? Well, I just don't want to cast aspersion. I don't want to slander one incorrectly. Why? Was it weird looking? I suggested he see a doctor. Um, that's how I saved his life. <laughs> what did you eat? Oh my god! That's a kid 
against God. What is this? <laughs> uh, that was upsetting. Because uh, I'm just, it's my first week. Uh, I'm just trying to keep a job uh, <laughs> and do a scene. And, uh, and then also Jared's, I guess, favorite move, uh, if I'm having to be serious, would be uh, if I'm standing here, you, st you stand there. Wait, does this mean I'm Jared? No, no, you're me. Ah. Oh. So just, wow. I mean, wow. I mean, wow. wow. That's instant crushing to someone. Uh, oh, come all right, on. Fine. Not okay. even Wait, so you're Jared. Jared? I'm Jared. All right. And as I'm, as I'm just doing my thing. What's happening? Yeah. 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 It got yeah. very, he would just, it, as I was doing my scenes, Jared would just, Step on your foot. <laughs> repeatedly oh stepping God. on my foot. Just very suddenly, like, so his shoulders wouldn't move, and I just felt that it's the weight of it. These are very expensive shoes. They're very nice. Jesus. They're actually really nice. I was noticing them earlier, but now it's dented. Yeah, look what you did. Uh, I, I do apologize. Uh, uh, and, but his feet are like anvils. Uh, yeah, I can feel that. that. And also, what did you say? Hey, these are very expensive shoes! <laughs> 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 yeah. Sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Uh, Alright, where are we? Hello. <laughs> where are you? 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 Bean Town, that's the same, right? We're here? Ah, uh, yeah. Sing that never sleeps, that's where we are. What's going on? So, I can't really follow that, but... Um, <laughs> Who could? <laughs> my, my question is for Jeffrey. Um, I was wondering how, uh, the costume happened. Like, did they tell you, hey, you're gonna dress like the Kentucky Fried Chicken guy? Curls! I don't see the resemblance. You should curl and give him the respect that he deserves. Like, what was I your reaction to that? Uh, <clears throat> I liked it. I like it. I mean, it was already written that he wore a white suit, and um, I made a horrible mistake, though. <laughs> What'd you do? I chose comfort over style with those shoes. <laughs> uh, after the first episode, though, the first the first suit that they had me in was it wasn't it was kind of an ill-fit suit. And I was like, all right, come on, let's, if we're gonna do this, let's do this. And so they came in and they tailored it out, and Ooh. they really made it sharp and looked good. See. I like a good suit. I like a good fitting suit. Who doesn't? Right? But Mon the shoes. Monsters. I hate when my suit fits. It's the worst. It's the worst. Uh, uh, like it when it form fitting and makes you like gross. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that was. I had to pick out my like they put me in a room and they gave me choice like this. What? Is not, yeah, they like literally. I showed up on a Friday, not shooting until Monday, and I and maybe I misremembered, but I remember being left alone in a room. They're like, "We'll give yeah. you some time yeah, with no, these same. choices." Same. Is They're that like, true? This way suit. This way yeah. suit. This, this one has this one. This what one's this cream. One? Uh, this is a foam. Oh, white. Just white. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I had like all these kimonos. Uh, like, pick your favorite kimono. Here is a tray of uh, jewelry. I chose ear cuffs. Apparently by season eight, they were like, here, this is what you're wearing. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Just take it. Deal with it. Yep. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi, guys. Uh, my question's actually for Adam. I love you all. But Thank is there you. any Hi. interesting stories about Santa Clarita Diet? <sighs> I, was just, I was just fangirling, boying out about it. It's my, my favorite show. He and loves the show. put it together. And I'm like, oh, oh. Hey, what's your, what's your favorite show? I, I, I missed the setup. What's your favorite show? Santa what? Clarita. The show I'm on. I say how much I love Santa Clarita. Is that why you cut open your thumb? Yeah. So they can eat yeah, your yeah. setup. Yes. Yes. I hate my thumb. <laughs> so, uh, wait, so the question was are there any stories from it? Yeah, any interesting stories? Uh, well, first of all, Drew Barrymore and Tim Oliphant are like the nicest people ever. Um, uh, the only story really is in the second episode that I did. I play a morgue orderly, for those that have never seen it. Um, and so there's a lot of like dealing with cadavers and organs and things like that that I do. And so in the second episode is the first time I had to like handle an organ. Uh, and so. Hey <laughs> <laughs> I, I just saw Rob scroll down, watch Adam's show. <laughs> 
<laughs> you had me at organ fiddling. Uh, my first time. It's a, it's a combination first of, time. <laughs> of Rob, Rob's favorite body part and bluegrass organ fiddling. Finally coming together. Um, so he's handling an organ. So I'm handling my organ. Yeah. And uh, no, basically, I just said we started a scene by taking what looked like a liver or something like that and putting it on a scale. And they used a real what? pig's liver. Gross. Yes. <laughs> and so there was like someone whose job it was to like come through with like a piece of Tupperware and open it up and hand me this pig liver every time I did the scene. And I would have to like move it from over here to over here. It's a weird job. It, we do a weird job sometimes. Honestly, it feels strange holding a pig's organ. And, and it also... <laughs> well, whatever you do, don't go to holding a pig's organ. I set a reminder. Um, I, got a, I have a quick sidebar question. Yeah. I, Adam, you're, you're, you're back on the road with us and it's a blast. Um, I think so too. Vegas... I walk out on stage and you're talking about Clay Dix. Clay Dix, everybody! Chicago! Clay Dix. Chicago, I walk out and you're talking about organ fiddling. I'm, yeah. so I'm sensing a theme. Yep. Or, organ true. handling. Organ handling. I heard so. fiddling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that reflects more on you. Yeah, well, <laughs> whatever. All I can tell you is that Clay Dix is a hell of an organ fiddler. I think it makes hey, uh, sense. <laughs> Um, did, did you guys all get filled in on Clay Dix? Are you guys big fans? Is that when you check into a hotel, do you check in under Clay Dix? Clay Dix, yeah, that's my my uh, my pseudonym. Sure. Yeah. Your stage name. My stage name is Clay Dix. It's the country music uh, alt personality. Uh, just word of advice, real quick. Don't click on the hashtag Clay Dix. Uh, it's not going to be. Us. <laughs> it's not going to be this joke or these people <laughs> or this time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 